This is the announcement that I'm beginning to work with, and it's my offering to questions about what do we do, Bob? Give us a practical situation. Well, I've been saying practical stuff. Be quiet, stay home, realize now. I'm telling them something to realize, that you do not have to eat. Of course you're going to have to eat, but you can move to the level of awareness where you don't need to eat that much, or you just eat supplements, the best supplements. You don't need that much substance, as Dave Worcester used to say, the medium for cosmic awareness. When I'd hang out with him, he'd have a little piece of cheese, maybe uh, twice a day. And he says, I need a little substance, but I don't need much. But I need a little. We're going to move to that level. We're going to move. As at the same time, when we have the opportunity, we'll be able to be gluttoned, to enjoy if we have good food. The other point about this going into the non-physical is that the physical is so polluted now, it's so dead, you aren't eating already. You aren't taking any mental information in. All of us under this four-body synesthesia, we are not doing what humans always have done. You cannot eat real food. You cannot enjoy real, pure environments, except if you're in Maui. But the point is, we have to realize that technologically, we have killed ourselves, and we cannot get back in the physical, what people yearn for, the chemical, physical body. So since we're dead, let's conceptualize the services, the benefits of that situation. And the astral plane is here, ready to help us. And I'm not saying that people need to start channeling stuff. You don't need to channel. How can you channel from another dimension if the dimension is already here? In other words, there is nowhere to die to. Because we are already dead and we're in the place you die to. And, as we, and you can see that our technology has created that metaphor. It's just like the meaning of the movie The Matrix. These people lived in wombs. They were dead in cocoons and they thought they, uh, Neo thought he lives in New York City and had a job and all that, right? Now, it presents it as a dark scenario, and it does, in the end, present a breakthrough. The thing is that the negative aspects of the matrix can be flipped into, like a mirror, into the positive effects that the cahoon that these people lived in weren't what the Wachowski brothers presented. They were the access to the astral landscape. We are dead. So we can see right through matter. I'm looking out the window, looking at the whales leaping in the harbor here in Maui. I'm looking at the wonderful palm trees, but I'm also looking through. And if I look at the clouds, I can see big faces. And I know those faces are not childish projections. They are UFOs. They come in a disguise. They are spirits. Anything I could imagine that is ridiculous, like John Lennon, imagine total bleeding heart liberal anthem to laziness and just hoping anxiety would go away and everybody could sleep and live in peace. Well, actually, that is happening, but it's happening in the middle of uh, incredible terror, violence, and murder. And that's what's the paradox. That's the contrast. As the Abrams say, we need contrast. Well, we're going to invent ways to have contrast now because we're losing the ability to have contrast because nothing's being contrasted with the non-physical. Well, if one survives death, I understand entities that don't prepare themselves for living after death, when they die and they're still conscious, they don't know where to go and are in a dream state. Our press conference here, there are people who actually believe I am present. And I am present, but I don't expect people to believe that. But there are people who are picking up on it. They may be in very suggestive, hysterical states of mind, but it shows that what we say, we have someone, my voice, explaining what's going on. That's what they want to know. The old story is that the uh, Jewish people in the concentration camps, one of the deeper agonies as they were lined up to be murdered in gas and all that, was they did not know why it was happening. The mind wants an explanation. The mind needs to talk to itself. We are providing a, a, a language 
the five-bodied model, a language, so the mind can talk to itself coherently as it experiences this global concentration camp. And at the same time, I'm providing a language of how we can allow the registration of the positive facts of being dead.